What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some brand new news and sort of leaked images, sort of just hyping up what we have coming for our custom batch series number two. You guys know that me and Mac Decals do work together on these custom batches where he will send us a batch of customs that, you know, are from a particular timeline. You know, obviously this one is going to be the Royal Rumble. Custom batch number two will be the Royal Rumble. And so every custom that we do is going to have, you know, you know, uh, a theme around the Royal Rumble, you know, different Royal Rumbles, the, this past year's Royal Rumble, as you guys know, we talked about it at the last video, but uh, we have pretty much the confirmed lineup, and then we have a possible sneak peek into the lineup, and then we have a bunch of images we want to show you guys regarding the lineup, and I think that we are about a week and a half to two weeks out before the line is officially in my hands for me to review to you guys and show them off because they're so beautiful, they're excellent, they look amazing, and they look Mattel made, that's the best thing about Mac is he literally looks all his figures look like they were Mattel made, so that is that is so excellent, and that is why all of his customs are, are ridiculously off the chain, and they're super fire flames nasty. So let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. So pulling up on the screen, we are going to start off with one of the first figures, and we do have a 2004 Chris Benoit figure, which we did take a look at, but we did not see the full figure. You know, we didn't see what the full figure looked like. We just saw the decals, and I showed you guys a picture of Chris Benoit from Royal Rumble 2004. So here is the... the the figure pretty much completed. It's not fully completed, I don't think, but it's pretty much, I'd say probably 90, 95% completed here. Looks fantastic. I am super hyped for this figure to get it in hand. Um, Chris Benoit is one of my favorite talents of all time in the ring, and we all know the tragic situation with that, but, you know, he, he was one of my favorites growing up. He was one of my first favorite wrestlers. I used to cry when the man would lose. Uh, just, just an excellent talent, and this figure embodies that night at the Royal Rumble, where he came in at number one, outlasted all the other men, you know, usually when they say outlasted all the other men, you know, number 30 didn't outlast all the other men. Chris Benoit literally outlasted all the other men because he entered at number one and he won the damn thing. Went on to WrestleMania 20 to win the World Heavyweight Championship. So this figure looks fantastic and I might include a World Heavyweight Championship with it just because he went on to win it. And uh, I, actually, I actually think he wore this attire at Backlash 04 where he won the or where he retained the World Heavyweight Championship as well. So I'll probably include a World Heavyweight Championship with this figure when we put it up for auction or we list it up for you guys to purchase. So there's Chris from while looking absolutely fantastic. The next figure, guys, is going to be from the 2020 Royal Rumble, and it is AJ Styles. We have an AJ Styles here from Royal Rumble 2020, and I think that this figure looks very bomb. I, I don't know what it is. I thought that, you know, I wasn't a big fan of it when he wore it, but I think in action figure form, it looks really, really sick. And again, we talked about it last time, how I we thought that this was the attire he wore in that fast lane promo from a couple years ago and I still think that this is that attire or possibly that was photoshopped but it looks just like it like or or maybe he was just inspired by that attire he decided to bring it to fruition after they edited that together and he was like yeah I'll wear that and they added the OC patches to it because that was long before we got the OC so I don't know what the deal was I guess they just added patches to it if it was old I don't freaking know but this figure looks bomb I love the red knee pads I love the red color popping off again I think it looks much better as an action figure, as a custom, than it actually does in real life as far as the attire goes and everything like that. Really think it flows well. It looks great. It's a staple in the in the thing there. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to include a vest. Maybe we can include a vest with this figure. We'll have to see about that. But uh, this, this AJ Styles custom from Royal Rumble 2020 is looking very, very nice. So I am hyped on this figure. I like it a lot. And uh, I kind of low-key wish I had it in my collection. I just I just think this, this attire really pops off. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below if you guys like this attire you think it was a dud i personally think it was a success as far as action figure form is concerned but you know anyways guys let's move on to the next custom in the batch we are going with a ricochet from royal rumble 2020 you guys know that ricochet had a decent little showing there for a little bit in the royal rumble he obviously hit brock lesnar in the nads and then drew mcintyre kicked his head off and sent him flying over the rope so without ricochet brad drew mcintyre may have never eliminated brock lesnar from the royal rumble of 2020 right here so ricochet's attire is looking good. I actually like this one a lot. You know, it's not one of those full body suit attires that uh, I am just not a fan of. I think he looks much better in just the, the custom tights with his logos and color, you know, schemes and stuff like that. I think his attires usually look way better when he's... Good God, we got a vomit in the custom batch video. I personally, again, you guys have heard me say it a hundred times before. I think the tights look a lot better than the full body suit. So, Mag did an outstanding job on this one. I really like the clean look of it. It looks very nice. I love the color scheme right here. 
Just just a really cool Ricochet figure, and I think that whoever gets this Ricochet is going to be great. Obviously, he still has to attach a torso and head sculpt arms to it, but uh, this is going to be a great Ricochet. I, I don't know what it is, but Mac always nailing the Ricochets, man. The height, the, the way they look, they look fantastic, and uh, it, it sucks that the Network Spotlight Series 2 didn't look somewhat like this. But anyways, guys, that is the third figure in the batch. So we have Chris Benoit, Royal, Royal Rumble 04. We have AJ Styles, Royal Rumble 2020, Ricochet, Royal Rumble 2020, now we're going to get into a figure that is super badass. I think it's the gem of the of the set. It is an Edge Return Royal Rumble 2020. This figure looks absolutely phenomenal. And I'm, I'm not talking about AJ Styles right here, Brad. This figure looks incredible. I think he nailed it. I know that uh, he got a ton of positive feedback uh, uh, from the community about this figure. And for good damn reason, man, this... This figure is just sick as shit. I think it's such a good-looking figure. I think the head sculpt looks great. I think we use the best Mattel head sculpt that you can use for this thing. I think that the red attire looks great. The you know the background right there even makes it look better. The kick pads look great. All the decal work is clean. Um, I think that you know this this figure right here is just an early contender for custom of the year. I know BEW is working on one. I know a bunch of people have done one over the community, but this one right here just looks so sick. And whoever ends up with this one got an absolute gem. I mean, this whole custom batch series is a gem, but with the the epic return of Edge and the embodiment of that, and then him, you know, uh, the the moment, and then recreating it here in figure form, just so magical, man. It looks so sick. So this Edge figure is definitely going to be up in the batch, man, and it's going to be a beast. Uh, this one looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see this one in person and review it for you guys and show it off in a video. Uh, so we're moving on to our next custom, guys. It is going to be the Monday Night Messiah. It is going to be Seth freaking Rollins right here. We have not completed the vest just yet, but we do have a look at him right here without his vest, and he looks great. I really do like it. Um, there's an image coming up that you guys will see the, the vest, but it's not it's a work in progress right now. is isn't fully completed, so you guys will see that once we get to the end of the video. But this one looks really good. I, I really like it. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Monday Night Messiah down the leg, but that's what he put on the attire. I think that it would have been a better attire for Rollins had he not put that on the tights, but I still like the attire. I think it's clean. I like the glove look. It fits the heel persona that Rollins is going for right now. So I really enjoy this figure a lot, and plus I'm a Seth Rollins guy, so I, I am all for this figure, and I think I'm personally going to get one one of these made for myself. This one looks this one looks great. Got to go up in the Rollins collection up on the shelf over there. So that is the next figure in the batch. We have a Royal Rumble 2020 Seth freaking Rollins. And another figure in the batch, guys, is going to be Randy Orton from Royal Rumble 2004. You guys saw this, uh, this figure last time. It was pretty much completed. It wasn't completed to the fullest extent, though. It did have the decals missing. But we do have the Ultra Blue tights from Royal Rumble 2004. He was the second entrant. So we're going to have the number one and number two entrants from the Royal Rumble 2004. I think that's excellent. That's really cool to see that come to fruition here in figure form. And so uh, I think it would be really cool to see like a photo shoot with those two. Um, probably won't do that just because I don't want to hurt them. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could because Max Max Customs actually can. You can use them in pick fetting. You can use them in uh, some for some light play. I think you know. I mean, if you're smashing them together, hell no, they're not gonna they're not gonna survive. But you can easily. I've used Max Customs in pick fetting before. I know Balor Figs UK has used them in pick fetting before. So you can pick fed with them. You can pose them around. You can do some photo shoots with them. That is completely fine. So maybe I could do a little photo shoot with Royal Rumble 04 right there. But uh, that is the next figure in the batch, guys. Royal Rumble 2004, Randy Orton. And here's a figure that I don't know if it's in batch number two. But I do know that it has been made by Mac. And I wanted to plug it right here at the end of the video. And the last figure I want to show you guys is the NXT TakeOver Toronto Pete Dunne. This figure looks so good, man. It looks so freaking sick. I think it's fantastic. I think he even, like, sanded down the singlet as he wore it a lot higher up on the chest so Mac actually did customize it a little bit make it look better and it looks so good right here I'm very happy with the figure I think it looks great I don't know again if this is going to be a part of batch number two but I did want to plug it and just show you guys this color with the with the freaking teal and the green and the blue colors all coming together this Pete Dunne using that Elite 75 as the base is so freaking sick so I did want to plug this because I'm a big Pete Dunne fan I figured you guys would get a kick out of this and if you guys want this to be in batch number two let me know down in the comment section below. Again, I don't know if it is, but uh, maybe if uh, 
you know, we get a lot of, you know, wants for it, then uh, maybe we'll put that hoe in batch number two. But here is the full set all together, guys, as you guys will see. We have Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Ricochet, Seth Rollins, Edge, and Chris Benoit all up on the screen for you guys. And these look phenomenal, man. These look so good up next to each other. Obviously, they're not completed just yet, but they are a work in progress. And again, they should be done in the next week or two. So I am very excited for them to be here to review and show off to you guys and then uh, have you guys, you know, available to purchase them, put them in your own collection. So these look great. They're fantastic. But I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. NXT TakeOver tonight, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. So uh, getting ready for that. But uh, this is batch number two. It looks so freaking excellent. I'm excited for it, guys. But that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to put these up to you guys and showcase them for you before they get here. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.